you guys to do is, let's start with the first one. Take about a minute and see if you can name that thing. And then we'll work together up here and see if we can come up with answer. on the first one. Remember the first thing we did was found the longest chain, but was was it the longest chain irregardless of what was in it? Mm -hmm. so if I had some big old outfield thing I could choose. What did that longest chain have to have in it? The most double bonds. The functional groups, right? So it's the longest chain, the rule really is, find the longest chain containing the largest number of functional groups. So. I am going to be going for my parent right there because I get both number bonds. Okay. Then I have to number the thing, right? So let's start here. I go maybe this number one here, this number two, that number three, or this number one and number two. Yeah. What am I looking for to help determine my number? <coughs> Matching. Okay, well, ultimately first, in the hierarchy, I want the functional groups to have the lowest numbers yeah. possible. Looking at what I just did there, I just did part of it. There are, the alkenes are going to have the same numbering regardless of how you go, right? So the next level in hierarchy is I want the substituents to have the smallest numbers possible. So I'm going to go to the end that gives me the lowest, the first branch point. So here, my first branch is at number three. Here, if I went, my first branch is at number four. So I'm going to be going the way I first wrote down, like that. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now, let's say you were given a molecule, and the branches were both at number three. What do you do next? Try to find the next branch, right? Keep going in. Let's say there is no other branch. They're both at number three. Then what? Alphabetical. Alphabetical. Yeah. Whichever comes first alphabetically wins. Alphabetical, if you get down there, that's like bottom of the barrel. Yeah, that's, that's your lowest priority. So now we're ready to go. What do you want to call it? Who do I start with? Ethyl or methyl? Five ethyl. Okay, so five ethyl, three methyl. Now what? Easy. Oct. Maybe octa, maybe octa, and I'm going space. Now what? Z is same side. Z is same side. Good. And E and Begetten? What 
This next one, our parent can contain all of the functional groups, two alkenes and alkyne. We have to number it. The numbering of these guys is a little bit weird. What do we look for first? Or the first uh, multiple bond. Yeah, first multiple bond, exactly. So I come in.
this molecule, I think it would have been possible. Take out the middle. What happens to take out the middle? Exactly. What do you do if it's the same both ways and there's an alkene and an alkene? Alkene. What do you do if it's the same both ways? Alkene wins. The alkene wins. The alkene wins. Why do you think that is? It's I mean, last semester we just kind of told you, right? Look at your priority list. <laughs> alkenes are above alkynes. Alkenes win. So if there's a tie and the numbering can be the same, then alkenes win. Okay, so now we can name this thing. I have a methyl. I have this branch thing, which is called a isopropyl. So the chloral comes first, and it is at number five. So five, two chloral, and hold. What's next? Isopropyl, mm -hmm. Okay, and then methyl? All right, nine carbons. So I know it is known, and I know it's going to be a diene. Here comes the fun. Easy. This is, yeah, let's do easy real fast. What's this first one? That's easy. easy. And, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this second one right here. Yikes. <laughs> All right. We have to prioritize this isopropyl with the, the double bond, right? I hate these things. So, here we go. We go to a carbon. We go to a carbon. carbon. So far, no winner. This carbon down here is attached to two carbons. This carbon up here is attached to carbon carbon carbon. two carbons. Right? I've not lost my mind. Remember <laughs> that it's, a, it's really it's attached to one carbon, right, with a double bond. But, but for purposes of the continental Prelog rules, it's attached to this carbon twice, right? So for counting, I do that. Remember that weird thing? Mm -hmm. Double and triple bonds? Okay. Yeah. So this is attached to two carbons. So far, we're tied. But then we come out here. You and this is attached to something other than hydrogens. All these are attached to is hydrogens. This is attached to something. So this is our number one. How about here? That's attached to a carbon. Attached to which has carbon. hydrogens and another carbon. This is attached to a carbon, and which two carbons. has two carbons. Which one wins? Top, top, top one. Top. Okay, so Z. this one is Z. Z. Good. So, let's go ahead and <laughs> All right. I am not going to have. I'm, I will not come unhinged on the test if you put the e on there. I don't. This this whole thing would be worth three points. That to me is not a point deduction. You'll just see me write it in there with red pen. Okay. But do try to do it correctly. One one poor fraction on this. Right? <laughs> All right. Let's do the last one.
So now we have alkenes and an alcohol. You have got a fundamental question to ask yourself, and that would be, what is this molecule? Who is the parent? And what are you going to use to help you decide that? In your priority list, right? This is an alcohol. So let's go ahead. We need to get the longest chain with the most functional groups. So this thing's going to kind of wander all over. Naming now becomes, or numbering, becomes really easy. The alcohol has priority. It gets the lowest number. So we don't even have to think about this now. We can just go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, try to name it. That'd be fine. You can put E or Z out front, or by the numbers, just not both places. Or I could go into the new way of doing it, in which case it would be a one, two, three propanil constituent, and I could do what would it be? It would be one one chloro propanil. That otherwise it'd be one methyl two chloro. All right, let's do this. So I have. Ethyl and methyl substituent. Ethyl comes first. So, four ethyl and three isopropyl. Five methyl. So far, so good? Yes. And then X. Okay. And then the fun begins. All right. Um, probably with the A because I see a dot. So yeah. let's say X up. And then E or Z. Let's see. Do I need to worry about that one? No. no. This one. I do. Uh, okay. <laughs> Which is listed the bottom one first? Here's an ethyl versus all this stuff. Stuff it. The stuff ones. Okay. <laughs> Coming up here, uh, I go to a carbon. I go to a carbon. Oh, wins. Yeah. This goes to an OH. This goes to carbon. The OH wins. So this is number one. So the, this one is E. E. Good. That's it. So then we have. Why is so messed up? So it's 3, comma, five. 5. I don't need E or Z there for 5 because he's both in the hydrogen. So it's the same. Di E, with or without an E? Without, because the next thing that comes is 2 all. Yes? Um, if, if you're just to name like a uh, double one at the end, Let's just say if it was a situation like for five to six. Right, okay. Um, how would you do that? So if it was, if there was something out yeah, there. Yeah, no, 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 if you're just naming that double bond as a situation. Oh, as a, ooh, that would be kind of weird. Let's say my chain that went, queen? <laughs> let's say my chain went, if I'm interpreting the question right, went like that for yeah. whatever reason. Yeah. You have to name this thing as a substituent. And I think the protocol for that is if there's just one carbon out here, I think they call it 
some stuff to practice with. If you are really confused on what just happened, oh come see God. me in office hours. Otherwise, you have five examples down here to practice on. Great. Those answers are up on D2L. Okay? And you also have somewhere, you have dying nomenclature. Okay? So, do those. Those answers are up on D2L sometime before Whatever it is, the 30th, I think. Oh, so dying, dying, dying. At midnight, pop on and take that quiz. Okay? So we're not getting this. Uh, it's like four or five.